Hello and welcome again. In this video, we will discuss Isaka Code of Ethics in relation to Certified Information System Auditor training. Before we start our video, make sure that you subscribe and like our video if you like this content. This will help us to continue to deliver these courses with good quality and dedicate our time to make more content. Isaka Code of Professional Ethics is a code that developed or published by Isaka to guide professionals and personnel to conduct audit in a good manner. The scope of this code of ethics is all holders of certifications like CISA certification and ISACA member. Part of the certification process of ISACA is to confirm your adherence to this code and failure to comply with this code will result in certificate revocation. ISACA code of ethics has seven statements. You can review these statements in much details from this link. Let's discuss what are the key points in the Isaac Code of Professional Ethics. The first part is you need as an auditor and you need as a certificate holder from Isaac and member for Isaac community to support and encourage compliance with the standards, procedures for, an effect, for the effective governance of enterprise information system technology. You need to promote the importance of auditing, the need for having good controls, the need for having adequate security, and the need for doing a risk management. You need also to act with objectivity, to not be biased, to do your work in a due care, and do your work with the due diligence, in accordance to professional standards. You need to understand here what is the difference between due care or due diligence. So let's start with what does due care mean? Due care mean that you uh, do your work in a good way. The standard of care where a reasonable person could exercise in the same situation or under similar circumstances. Due care is a short term and it make you sure that or assure that you are doing the right thing. But due diligence is not assuring that you are doing the right thing. It means you are doing the right thing in the right way. So due diligence is making sure the right thing was done correctly. And if it, if it, if it is necessary to do it again, if further research is required, for instance, patching is a due care. When you perform OS patching, you are ex expressing the due care in your work. But when you understand what is the kind or what are the kind of this vulnerability, how it can be exploited, who can exploit it, you are doing a due diligence. So this is the difference between the, the due care and the due diligence. So due care is doing the right thing and due diligence is doing the right thing in the right way. Ensure you are doing it in the right way. The third statement in the Isaac Code of Professional Ethics is to serve, the serve in the interest of stakeholder in a lawful manner, while maintaining high standard of conduct and character, and not discredit the profession or the association. What we mean here is that you need to serve in the interest of the stakeholder, the people who hired you, but still act in a lawful manner, act in objectivity, and uh, perform in a high level of standard and character and not just discredit the profession. Because when you act in a bad manner, you will discredit and remove the reliability or affect the reliability of this profession. The fourth point of the Isaac Code of Essex is to maintain the privacy and confidentiality of information obtained during the activity, unless disclosure is required by legal authority. So do not use the data you are gaining access to due your audit mission for your own interest. Maintain the privacy and confidentiality because you should be a trusted and very high trusted person. Maintaining competency is one of the code of professional ethics and maintaining competency means that auditor will agree only to undertake the audit mission that he can do in time and within budget and in a good way.
Also, the continuous education is one of the things that will ensure that you maintain a competency. So, being competent means that you will start or you, you will upgrade your knowledge uh, in a regular basis and you will try to understand more and more and learn new things to ensure that you have the high level of competency required to your job. Being an auditor is not an easy job. You need to be more educated, more informative, and uh, have exposure about a lot of domains to ensure that you are really competent and nobody will lie or uh, uh, try to hide things on you. So you need to be very competent and this is one of the Ezekiel Kudu professional ethics. Inform appropriate party with the result of your job, especially if uh, this uh, information will uh, be significant. If not disclosed, it may, it could distort the reporting of the result. So informing appropriate party of the result of the work performed is one of the professional ethics. You should not hide anything that could be significant. And uh, what we mean here by significant, that the significant fact is uh, the thing that uh, when it's not disclosed will uh, distort or will lead to wrong decision. Support is a professional education of stakeholders in enhancing their understanding of governance and management of enterprise information system and technology. And what we mean here is the promotion of why audit is important and control security and risk management. So this is the professional ethics or the professional code of ethics published by Izaka. As a CISA aspirant during your certification process, you agree and adhere to this uh, code of professional ethics to be certified. You need to adhere to this code uh, and the failure to comply with this code will result in your certificate revocation. That was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video. But remember, you are not required to memorize anything that we are talking about here in this course because you will be tested against the concept, not against the memorization. So I hope you are doing well and you are enjoying our video. Don't, don't forget to like and subscribe and join our channel membership if you are see that account is uh, or that content is useful and you need to support our ongoing projects.